My name is Afer Mirza. I'm Director of Media Relations at the University of Leicester and I'm a former journalist with the Leicester Mercury. And I've had many uh, happy occasions of meeting with Lord Attenborough and they're happy because of the nature of the person that he is. Um, whenever I did meet with him, uh, he, was, he is very hands-on. He's got a, a way of making you feel very special for the moment that he's with you. And despite how important he is as a person and how well-known he is, for the moment that he's with you, you are the person that's important. And he's very hands-on. He grabs you uh, with both hands and uh, uh, clasps your hand and says, uh, uh, darling, and regardless of your gender, you're, you're always a darling to him, and, uh, uh, and, and, and is interested in you. Uh, and that, uh, that is an abiding memory of, of that the kind of warm, fuzzy feeling that he leaves you with, um, because you are special at that moment in time. Um, and I remember the occasion when he visited, um, he visited our uh, Richard Attenborough Centre, obviously, many times. And there was one occasion, my wife baked him a cake. Uh, and this was a special cake that she uh, did uh, with the colours of the Embrace Arts theme, uh, the university theme on it. And he loved the cake and he made a special mention of it and then remembered to take a slice home to his wife all the way to London. So that was, a, 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 again, a, another very uh, special memory. It brought a personal touch to the, to the man. The, 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 one of the best memories I have of Lord Attenborough is the occasion when um, Diana, Princess of Wales, actually came to open uh, uh, the Richard Attenborough Centre. Um, she landed in a helicopter at the Regent College, which is opposite uh, the, the site, and uh, Lord Attenborough went across uh, and, and, and greeted her and brought her uh, through, the, through the, the playing grounds. And all the national media were there, and uh, they were snapped, of course, and the the photograph that hit the front pages of all the papers the next day was of Diana and him walking what looked through through like what looked like um, a field of uh, daisies, uh, and uh, it was a, a really strong image. Um, and of course, the the visit Diana looked really relaxed and at ease, and I think it was being with uh, Lord Attenborough that helped her as well be very much at, at ease, because this was in the the, the period after which she'd kind of you know had, had split with with Charles. Uh, and uh, her, her ceremonial role was not being ha handled at all by uh, Kensington Palace. So it was the university that made all the arrangements. And uh, uh, she seemed very comfortable with Lord Attenborough and that, uh, that exuded throughout the, the visit. In fact, one of the most iconic images of uh, Diana, which was uh, used by all the media uh, after she passed away, which was about, just about five months after she visited the university, uh, one of the most iconic images was one taken at Embrace Arts. It's one of her looking rather wistfully away, uh, away from the camera. And uh, we, we recall that that image was taken by a PA photographer uh, at, our, uh, at our university. Um, Lord Attenborough also uh, has visited the university on many other occasions. For, for example, when we um, awarded him a Distinguished Honorary Fellowship with his brother David and he, one of the things is that no matter how busy he is and no matter how tired he is, he's always got time for the media uh, and for, for the people who are around him. Um, and uh, I remember that the media um, were delayed somewhat because of all the fans who'd gathered to meet Lord Attenborough, and yet he showed utmost patience and, uh, patience and uh, again had plenty of time for, for the media. And that, that's again a, a remarkable feature uh, of him. Um, another really um, a joyous occasion that I had with uh, Lord Attenborough was, on, I think, on his 80th birthday when um, the BBC were doing a, a documentary about his career. And uh, he was taken around uh, College House, which is their former residence. Lord Attenborough's father, uh, Fred Attenborough, was principal of the University of Leicester uh, College in those days. And uh, uh, Lord Attenborough recalled living in the house uh, uh, and, and memories of the house. And he took me around College House, and then he, he recalled that um, uh, he'd, he'd scrawled some graffiti on a brick sort of 50 or 60 years earlier. Uh, and uh, he took me around, and we both started peering at the wall. And sure enough, on, the, on one of the bricks outside is his name, along with David Attenborough's name and uh, John Attenborough, who's the, the third brother. So, uh, you know, he'd got this remarkable memory. He recalled running up and down the stairs. He recalled chucking David out of one of the windows. Uh, so there's some, some really good memories. And they came flooding back as he walked around the college house. And uh, that was uh, very nice indeed as well. 
On one occasion, when there was a royal visit to the uh, university, uh, another royal visit to uh, the Richard Atmer Center, um, there was a gentleman uh, who uh, was in the queue who'd come up to meet uh, Lord Attenborough. He wasn't somebody we'd invited, he was just a member of the public who, who wanted to meet him. Um, and uh, this uh, chap um, queued up and uh, uh, when he came to see Lord Attenborough, he fell to his feet. And we were all rather uh, amazed at what had happened. And he, he asked for, uh, this gentleman was of Indian origin, and he asked for Lord Attenborough's blessings. And Lord Admiral, you know, granted, gave him his blessings and, 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 and asked him to stand up. And uh, the gentleman said, um, Lord Admiral, uh, you won't remember me, but I was a, a tea boy on the sets of Gandhi uh, many uh, years earlier in India. And quick as you would have it, Lord Admiral said, of course I remember you. Uh, and of course it wasn't tea you were serving me, it was gin. <laughs> it kind of broke uh, the, the kind of... Uh, surprise that we had at, at what had happened and there was a, a you know we were laughing and enjoying the occasion and again he made this gentleman feel really loved and wanted and uh, I think it was a, as a measure of the, the caliber of the man that he was able to do that. Well R Richard has left his name physically on, on the university's um, uh, personality. Um, it, it's, it's the buildings that we have you know speak for the university they articulate something about what we do. And, and the, uh, the Richard Attenborough Center is an inclusive center that uh, promotes arts in its many forms. And I think that that is his legacy. It's n whatever you do, try and leave a name for yourself that will benefit other people. And that will be an, a, an abiding legacy that he has had uh, with us at the university and, and in the city.